What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're speculating about Tesla's battery investor day, what they will announce, and specifically Amprius Technologies and Silicon Nanowires. Tesla Twitter world has been totally abuzz. I've been bombarded with uh, requests to make this video, and so I've been diving into it to try and figure out and unpack what is going on here. This all started just a couple days ago when Tesla sent out this official invite for battery day, which had its you know classic teaser image. We all remember when Tesla had the teaser image of the Cybertruck, um, and everyone was trying to guess what the hell it looked like, all these renders. So Tesla's famous for doing these teasers, and now in the battery investor day teaser, I don't know, like they're they're coming out with this image here on Electrek. They actually even removed the words so you can see, zoom in. And according to Twitter, um, what this most similarly resembled in terms of the battery technology world was something called silicon nanowires. Um, this micro silicon, you know, next level, uh, you know, this next generation battery technology. And then where it really started heating up is people will realize that this company called Amprius Technologies recently relocated just right next to Tesla's HQ in Fremont, California, um, where they recently have filed that they have hundreds of employees um, ramping up this what's known as Roadrunner secret battery cell initiative. You know, I made a ton of videos talking about how Tesla is going to bring battery cell production in house. They're ramping it up like crazy at this facility. That's what they're going to show us at battery day. Well, right next to that facility, Facility that's ramping like crazy is this company called Amprius Technologies, which is a pioneer um, in this silicon nanowire technology, basically making silicon anodes for next generation batteries that have way higher energy density um, than anything on the market today. So now, you know, of course, Twitter's all, you know, doing all the speculation, like is Tesla working with Amprius? Da, 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 da. Sam Chorus, friend of mine, he's actually been on the podcast, um, goes on this tweet thread about Elon Musk hinting at excitement for an electric jet, quoting whole Mars, Omar's tweet about Amprius. So they're piggybacking on Amprius. And Sam Chorus says this is a big deal because if this sort of technology starts to get commercialized, there's a chance that Elon Musk's uh, you know, energy density threshold of 400 watt hours per kilogram to make a vertical takeoff and landing jet would be surpassed. And that means, you know, this could actually be a viable thing. This crazy futuristic electric next generation airplane that Elon Musk has been scheming, but needs good batteries. And so to, to put the cherry on top of all of this speculation, Elon Musk replies to this speculative tweet thread saying 400 watt hours per kilogram with high cycle life produced in volume, not just a lab, is not far, probably three to four years. So this is a game changer. Elon Musk, we know from his Iron Man cameo, talks about his electric jet idea, but he ha I've even done a whole podcast with Matt uh, Joyce, shout out to him, about what Tesla's electric jet would look like and how dis much disruptive potential this has for the aviation industry. Um, but Elon hasn't really confirmed or denied it. Is it going to be a SpaceX project? Is it going to be a Tesla project? Is it its own company? Is he actually doing it? Is this a you know electric VTOL jet for himself or is it a commercial product that they're going to sell to the mass market? We don't know any of that, but this new signal from Elon Musk directly replying to this tweet thread that directly quoted Amprius is super, super interesting. And to me, is basically a confirmation from Elon through like three degrees of separation that Tesla is either working with or has acquired Amprius. It's just too many coincidences. And the other crazy thing is that if you go to Amprius's website, um, this is a little bit different than a lot of battery technologies I've seen in that it's not really just a lab project. They are actually ramping with huge companies and partners, and it looks like commercializing this technology as well. So Amprius, um, like I said, their big game changer is this 100% silicon nanowire battery technology, game-changing performance and energy density um, and cycle life. Uh, and cycle life. And so you can see here, they have the, com the comparison of silicon, um, which has actually been touted for a long time as a much better technology than what is being currently used in batteries. Um, and actually in 2015, there was a really interesting article where they get some tidbits about Elon Musk that says we're shifting um, the upgraded pack with this new chemistry to more silicon in the anode. This is just sort of a baby step in the direction of using silicon in the anode. We're still primarily using synthetic graphite, but over time, we'll be using increasing amounts of silicon silicon in the anode. So to me, that's another very interesting thread of all of this is Tesla is on the record with their technology saying we want to move towards this silicon anode. This is the future. This is going to be a game changer. And that's exactly the technology that Amprius is developing. That's exactly the technology that Elon Musk is commenting on. And if we talk about commercial partnerships that Amprius has ramping this up, they've already teamed up with um, Airbus to launch this sort of 70,000 foot or 70,000 altitude uh, foot floating sort of plane satellite thing um, that I guess requires super, super advanced cutting edge batteries, extremely expensive, still sort of in a beta program. It's called the Zephyr. 
Um, this was announced in October 31st last year, but still, this is a huge deal with a huge company that's actually being assembled. Um, so this is all happening. They're really commercializing this. And, you know, Amprius, once again, their claim to fame, the first to introduce these 100% silicon anodes and lithium iron batteries in the market in 2013, Amprius manufactures the highest en energy density commercial batteries in the industry. So they're already using these um, for things like flying. And so I think this is extremely exciting. And what's even more interesting, where I'm getting to with all of this, is if you go to the commercializations, the applications currently using this Amprius technology, the one of them is power cells for electric vertical and takeoff landing eVTOL vehicles. So they're even saying here that their batteries are being used in VTOL devices. And remember, Elon Musk commented about his VTOL product idea on this Amprius threat. So, you know, this is a lot to deal with and process. I'm gonna throw in a couple crazy other tidbits at you as well. Shirley Meng, who's a legend in the battery world, researcher, partner with Maxwell Technologies, I believe, said, we should pay attention to the cost per kg, even those nanowires, even if those nanowires work, I think is what she was saying, which I doubt to produce consistent quality and metric ton scale at $10 per kg, it will be sci-fi for now. So now Shirley Meng, so someone in academia who Tesla partners with is saying that this, shirt, this nano wire technology is actually more hype um, and it's a little further down the road than we would think. Couple more clues to layer in here. Yi Lei Chow, a manager at Tesla from Los Altos, California, spent eight years and four months at Amprius before going to Tesla full-time in August 2019. We also have another LinkedIn clue from uh, Mark Guzman, who is a cell engineer at Tesla right now. Before that, was working at Maxwell doing dry battery electrode technology for four years, and before that, working at Amprius in Sunnyvale. This is a lot of clues to, to um, unpack. You know, if I had to make a guess about what's happening here, Tesla is indeed partnering with this Amprius technology to develop some sort of battery cell program. Now let's talk about, you know, how far along is this program? Because some of these claims that Amprius's technology makes about their watt hours per kilogram energy density seems way too good to be true. It just seems like it's not quite ready for commercialization. And I think, you know, I've probably been guilty of this as well. I think Tesla Twitter and the Tesla, you know, people following this, trying to guess what's happening in battery day, I think we get way too hyped up about, you know, at first it was Maxwell, then it was Celion, now it's Amprius. We're always getting a little bit too excited about these different puzzle pieces of the battery technology um, roadmap that Tesla's on. And it's really all of these coming together, converging at once at Tesla under one roof in one product, which is the secret sauce. And that's what I think is really gonna get announced at Tesla's battery days. It's not one big innovation. It's not some aha, you know, silver bullet technology. That's the nano wire, that's the dry battery electrode. It's a combination of all of these breakthroughs put together in a new state of the art manufacturing facility, um, you know, combined with Tesla's decade plus of lithium ion cell experience and, and, and really commercializing all these fringe next level technologies into a battery cell that's ready for prime time, that can be super long lasting, super efficient and built super duper cheaply. And so, I don't know, my gut tells me that Amprius um, you know, like this this transition from the synthetic graphite anode over to silicon, you know, maybe this is like a sliding scale and we're gonna move slowly towards more and more of a silicon anode incorporating this Amprius technology. And that, and it's not like we're going full silicon anode right at battery day, but we're gonna make a lot of progress there. And that's gonna increase incrementally the energy density and Tesla's already rolling that out. Is Tesla gonna roll out a full silicon anode at battery investor day? Is that ready for prime time today? Uh, my gut instinct that lo looking at this for a day or two says maybe not, but down the road, is this gonna be, is Amprius's silicon anode technology the breakthrough? Is it the limiting factor for Tesla's VTOL jet? Is this the battery company that Elon Musk is most pumped about to work with to, to you know, bring the density um, to that magical 400 watt hours per kilogram number so he can build this crazy electric jet concept? It looks like it. Like Elon Musk commenting on that specific Sam Corus tweet that specifically piggybacks on the Amprius speculation. I mean, there is to me, I've got to think there was something here where there's smoke, there's fire, there's too many clues. I think Tesla's working with this and I think silicon anode is going to be another buzzword to throw in there at Battery Investor Day. So anyway, that's my speculation on Amprius. Would love to know what y'all think in the comments below. Um, what is going on here? I'd love to know all your Battery Day schemes. Read all your comments. Please subscribe if you haven't already. There's more Battery News coverage on the way. I'll see y'all next time.